All right, I'm here at the server. Uh, so, so let me let me uh, get out of the frame and, and let it focus in on what's important here. Uh, we've got a couple of Dell servers, actually three Dell servers here, but I'm only working on this one right now. Dell PowerEdge R720XD, yeah, I got it for a few hundred dollars off of uh, eBay. Decent machine. Uh, didn't come with any hard drives, as is custom, uh, customary of eBay dev devices. And just I just want to give you some of the, the goofy stuff that you'll run into with this. Um, I, so I, I ordered a bunch of, of drives from some Amazon seller who had them mislabeled as their for, the, for this device. And I got a whole bunch of, of drives in, uh, in two, and a, two and a half inch drives. Uh, in these caddies. Now, two and a half inch drives can work with this Dell 720 XD, but you need a different caddy, right? These are way too, way too uh, small for, for the device. So it delayed the whole project a couple weeks while I went to go order a bunch of these. So to just, just be prepared. Don't, if, if you aren't fully planning, you don't know who your suppliers are of this, this stuff, you're, you're going to end up with a bunch of dumb stuff. Anyway, I could, I could go on and on and on. I'm going to uh, power this guy on. And let's let's uh, let's get this thing going. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I see so many videos that are like, "Hey, and let me get this straight. Um, hey, poof, there we go. We've got you know Proxmox installed, and they don't show you a lot of the the core setup because it's it's impossible to do a screen capture of this because it's a it's a machine that's you know there's no software installed, so you can't record it except doing what I'm doing right now. Um, so, so when you get a server, you want to make sure, and I mentioned this in the hardware requirements, you want to make sure that you get one with a RAID controller where it can do at least RAID 1. I've got two of these drives installed and I stopped because um, I, I, don't, I don't, you know, that's all I need. I want a mirror configuration, which is RAID 1. So hang on, this is, this is coming up right now. Uh, what I see on the screen is, there we go, we got the Pixie boot where it's trying to boot off the network card. And right there, there we go. Control R, you can see to run configuration utility, bam. All right, and right up here, very common uh, RAID controller, Perk H710. And you'll get lost in this thing if, if you're going at it the first time. You can, can, you know, on the bottom it says, you know, control, sorry if this looks nasty, it's just the, the way the, the screen's recorded. You know, control N, control N, you can, you can see kind of what, what it's seeing, but it's recognizing the two uh, uh, serial attached SCSI, SAS drives that I have slid in there. That's two of these 300 gig drives. Now, I know you're like, well, Jeremy, why, why 300 gigs? Don't you want some storage? No, you do not. This is essentially to boot Proxmox, and that's it. I want it to be resilient, and this is something a lot of people miss. They're like, oh, let's just put a single drive in. If that one drive fails, you lose your whole virtualization server, right? It's gone. Proxmox is dead because uh, it, it, you've lost your boot, boot volume. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go next, next, next. Uh, on the first one, and you got to kind of just poke around, but if you move up and highlight this no configuration present and press enter, it comes up and says, how would you like it configured? So right there, I see my two physical disks. I'm going to select both of those. And it says, hey, if this is a RAID 0, which is disk striping, where it, it literally uses both those drives, you get more speed, but less redundancy, because if either one of those drives fail, you lose the whole volume if, if you're using RAID 0. I'm going to change that to RAID 1. Watch, watch the volume right there. Uh, it immediately, oh, <laughs> I got to select them again. The volume size goes down to a single drive because one of them is pure redundancy, right? I'm going to say the volume name, let's just call it boot. Um, and I'm going to go to the advanced settings and let's turn on the initialization. That just wipes out the data it, and it kind of scrubs the disk. This is useful if you're, you're using a drive and you don't know where it came from, which is, <laughs> which is my case with said Amazon seller who shipped me the wrong thing in the first place. I'm going to say, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, initialize those and okay. So this, this will now, okay, it's, it's now successfully created the disk and initializing it uh, or initialize it. The data is gone. You can see initialization is complete on volume zero. At this point, we have our first virtual disk right there. It's our boot volume at 278 gigabytes. And now in the next video, we're going to take that 300 gigabyte volume and combine it with the Proxmox installer.